Welcome to Greek Verse Today. Today we're translating Revelation 2.22. So by way of reminder, we have Jesus addressing the angel over the church at Theatria, and he is specifically rebuking them for accepting the teaching of a certain Jezebel. And so we're going to see uh, this rebuke playing out and Jezebel again showing up in this verse here. So as always, we'll start with one slow reading, a little bit faster reading. Give you a second to pause and deal with the verse yourself before I jump in and offer my translation. So we have idu, follow, outain, ace, klinain, kai, tus, moiku antos, met, outais, ace, Dlipson, Megalane, Aeon, May, Metanaesosin, Ek, Tone, Ergon, Outes. Once more, a little bit faster. Idu, Balo, Outain, Ace, Clinane, Kai, Tus, Moiku, Antas, Met, Outes, Ace, Dlipson, Megalane, Aeon, May, Metanaesosin, Excuse me, meta no na asosin ek tone ergon outtakes. So at this point, go ahead and translate uh, or pause and see what you can translate here, working from your reader's edition. All right, so we have an interjection to start our sentence here, edu, which means behold, and then our main verb, our indicative verb, immediately following embalo. And the subject of our verb here is going to be embedded in the ending. It's a non-explicit subject, so this uh, omega here tells us it's first person singular. So I throw or I am throwing. Notice we have a present tense here, present active indicative, first person singular. Uh, so the I in this case is Jesus speaking. Uh, so behold, I am throwing outain. So our outain here is a third person personal pronoun. Notice we have an accusative feminine ending here with our uh, with our ain. So our antecedent, the feminine antecedent of this uh, personal pronoun is going to be the woman Jezebel from a few verses earlier. So I am throwing her uh, ace clinane uh, into, or in this case, we're probably going to want to smooth it out to onto uh, a bed. Clinane is the word for bed or a couch. Um, and so here we have just a prepositional phrase uh, onto a bed. And uh, so if this is our one of our accusative objects, direct objects of the sentence, we actually get another accusative direct object over here. In this case, it's going to be a participle with a prepositional phrase following it. So tois moiku on toss is going to be a present active participle, accusative masculine plural. And we get that accusative masculine plural information not only from this os ending right here, but we get it very clearly also from the definite article that is standing before the participle. Uh, so this is from moikuo, which means to commit adultery. So those committing adultery met outes with her. So Jesus is throwing both her, namely Jezebel, onto a couch and also throwing those committing adultery with her into Flipson Megalon. So a uh, great tribulation. Here we have an attributive uh, an attributive adjective. Remember, we've seen John use this grammat, uh, this grammar, this syntax before, where he'll have the adjective after the noun, megalane being great, um, matching flipson in case, gender, and number. Both of these are going to be feminine, accusative, singular. Uh, so into a great tribulation. And so the reason that we don't have the definite article here uh, is because this is an indefinite phrase. So this is an attributive adjective, which we normally expect, remember, to have uh, article plus, excuse my chicken scratch as always, plus the adjective plus the noun when it's, uh, when it's attribute, excuse me, when we have an attributive adjective, we expect this syntax, article, the adjective, and then the noun following it. But 
when we have an indefinite phrase, the article needs to be absent. Uh, and so that's what's going on here. And then John has just switched the adjective and the noun. So into a tribulation, a great one or a great tribulation. And then lastly, we have this last clause here with aeon may. So remember, uh, aeon is uh, a conditional particle and it's going with this negative particle may. So when we see aeon may and we particularly when we see this negative particle that's not oo, remember oo is the particle that negates indicative mood verbs. May is going to negate all other moods. In this case, it's negating uh, metanoi asosin in the subjunctive. So here we have uh, a subjunctive third person plural uh, from the verb metanoeo, which means repent. Um, so unless, so a negative condition here, aeon may, uh, that, that construction we translate as unless, unless they repent ek ton ergon. So here a prepositional phrase, uh, out of or from the works of her. So unless, uh, unless these adulterators repent from the works of Jezebel, they will also be thrown uh, they will be thrown into great tribulation. So let's put it all together here. Behold, I am throwing her, namely Jezebel, onto a couch or a, a bed, and I am throwing those adulterating with her into a great tribulation, unless they should repent from her works.